Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing, it's a winter frosty design and it was going to be my entry for the nail sugar mood board but after seeing some of the entries I've chickened out because it's nowhere near the standard of the other ladies but I'm going to keep practicing and I will put an entry in sometime. So I've started off with some Emily gel polish um, and putting Eskimo Kisses over the top here. I love these micromylers. They are absolutely amazing on the nail. Doesn't matter what colour you put them over, they are absolutely beautiful. So just dabbing them in. I don't want to completely cover it. I want it to look like it's like magical snow, if that makes sense. And then I'm putting a wee coat in my, my glitter top coat over it. That's its first top coat. Um, and then cure that. And I'm just going to give it a wee buff just to take out any lumps and bumps and smooth it over so that it's, it's ready for its main top coat, so it looks nice. And then we're going on to stamping it. Um, I've got my usual kit here, and I'm using this plate from Aimee Lee that I got in the, the stamping kit. So I'm just putting a couple of snowflakes on the nail in white and silver, just to make it really wintry and make it stand out. And you can still see the the mylar at the back of the snowflakes, which is the effect that I really wanted because I want you to think it's snowing. And this is just one of the snowflakes right in front of your face, if that makes sense. So we'll get one each on the silver and the white, and I'm quite happy with that. So I got out some um, AB Swarovski crystals. These are genuine crystals. Um, and I put a layer of matte top coat onto the snowflake nail and just put one crystal in the middle of each snowflake and I love the way that that turned out. Now we're going to paint the rest of the nails and I'm using um, the, the sort of soft winter colours um, apart from the bright blue which I really love. I'm adoring that polish just now. I've used it a few times. So the grey on the middle the bright blue on the ring finger and the same baby blue is going on the pinky. And I think I put the grey on the thumb eventually as well. Um, so once they're painted, they get a 30 second cure. Then the second coat goes on, a 30 second cure again, and we're ready to move on. This is a, a Born Pretty Plate I ordered. Um, I just really like the look of it. And I know you're probably wondering what the hell I'm using a C plate on a winter design for, but I wanted the background image because I thought it looked like kind of blizzardy, like snow kind of image. So I'm stamping that in silver just as a background. This is where I started making it quite complicated for myself because this polar bear, the way it's etched, um, I wanted the scarf to be obviously a different colour to the polar bear's body. Um, but I didn't want it to be black, so I couldn't stamp it as the outline, if that makes sense. So I've stamped the scarf area and I'm taking off everything that isn't the scarf. And the scarf will be left on that stamper. Then I'm taking a different stamper and stamping the whole image and taking off the bits that I don't want. Now I have to do the body and the head separately to go below and on top of the scarf, obviously, because I want the scarf blue, not black. So I'm taking off his wee head and we get rid of the scarf as well so that in this section we're just left with the body. Um, which I go on to get my wee detail brush, some white stamping polish and get all that coloured in white to where I want it to be. And then once that was done I left that to sit and dry um, along with the scarf and went on to yet another stamper. We stamped it again, or I stamped it again, but I stamped the head this time and got rid of everything else. And then colouring in the head the same white, so that we've got three sections now of polar bear. Add in a thin layer of foil glue, um, just to put a bit of stickiness on the nail, so that the, the decals will stick. So we're doing the, the body first, then hopefully lining it up well enough to add the scarf on where it's got to go and then we're going to plop the head on the top and I think it turned out 
really quite cool. I was happy with the result first time, which was really unusual. I'm just scraping a tiny wee bit of the snow I made off a Christmas plate. This is a Nubashik plate. Um, I wanted some snow round about the polar bear. So I'm just taking that wee section and I'm going to stamp round about them. Um, just to get some snow in the background. Or rather in the foreground because the silver stuff's meant to be the background. So that was my intention for that. And again, I liked the way it turned out. I was happy with the result. Then I'm just putting a layer of rubber top coat over it to seal it and keep the wee polar bear safe so he doesn't get scratched off and we'll lose him. I've also put some top coat on the bright blue nail and I'm going to dab over um, Nail Sugar's Fairy Flakes. I love the effect these give, they just make the nail look so special. And then there'll be a layer of top coat on that which I'm not going to cure as I have some 3D stickers from AliExpress. Um, and I'm putting that on but I didn't realise there was some of the excess roundabout sticker on it but what I did is once I cured the the sticker into the top coat I just melted that excess stuff off with some acetone and it came off no problem at all. Now obviously you don't want to top coat this so that's why I cured it into the top coat so I knew it would stay put and it wouldn't go anywhere and I love them, love these stickers, I'm going to order more of them because they're so, so effective. I kept the pinky nail pretty simple and uh, stamped in grey with some, a plaid stamping plate um, to tie in the colours. So I've put first off uh, a pattern of grey and then I used a different plaid image with a silver and put a layer of that on and that just brought all the colours together and I feel that it made the money sort of flow together, if that's what I mean, I think it is. So I'd already painted the thumb the same grey as what was on the middle finger. So I'm just taking a Moyu London plate, one of the festive plates, and stamping this ugly winter jumper image over the top, which I think was really beautiful. Um, I was quite happy with that. Then I, I put top coat over it and I, I left this one matte in the end, I think, um, just because I feel it's more effective and matte with this kind of design and colour spectrum. I also left the, the pinky nail matte, um, just again because I prefer the effect. That brings us to the end of this video and the design is finished. I really love the, the finished result. Thank you so much for joining me and watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!